Hi Pisces, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. Now this is general, so it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid. So this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present or coming up in your future. Roles can be reversed. So take what applies to you, the person on your mind, your situation and leave the rest. Now at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an Oracle message from the whispers of love Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Show me how Pisces feels about the person on their mind. Oh, it wanted to come out and then it didn't, so... All right, so I do see that you want to reconcile with this person, three of cups, three of wands, nine of cups. Um, you two had either a falling out or you've been waiting for this person to reach out to you, um, get back to you. I'm getting the indication that you have already established like, hey, uh, I really want to talk about things. But we have a, um, like I said, in that three of cups, a reconciliation here and kind of waiting for them to show up. And you're very hopeful. I don't see that you're doing without that you're heartbroken over this person. Um, but, you know, it does disrupt your day. It's like I keep trying to do what I need to do. And I do see that. You know, looking back to that wanting that reconciliation, um, you're still maintaining to have a good positive attitude with that nine of cups. You have love all around you from other people. Life is good, but what you want is with this person and you're not sure why it keeps coming up and why it keeps disrupting your day. Cause I'm getting the indication you haven't felt, felt or thought about this person in a while, but now that you have, um, you know, should I, reach out to them? Should I not? Last time you spoke to this person, I feel that you let them know how you felt and what you wanted. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at how this person feels about Pisces. The reason that you are thinking about this person, why it's coming up for you. Um, yeah, they're worried. We have the nine of swords, two of cups and the chariot. So this person has some sleepless nights over you. Are they going to be reaching out to you? No, not at this point. They're manifesting you. This is a very powerful, energetic connection you two have to each other. I feel that it is a very powerful connection in general. So with that nine of swords, the two of cups and the chariot, they're worried. They're worried like you could be with somebody else else, you know, maybe you're happy with someone else and moving on. However, they still are trying to manifest you back into their life. They think about you a lot. Um, they have some sleepless nights over the situation. I even get this person recently had a dream about you, which made them feel like, why am I thinking about Pisces? I haven't thought about Pisces in a while. This person does believe that you are their soulmate and they just worried to reach out to you at this point, but definitely manifesting you. So let's go ahead and look at the connection between the two of you. All right, we do have the two of wands, the ace of swords, and the six of wands. A decision was made here. It looks like it was a little difficult, but at the time it was the right decision. Um, 
for the both of you, but somebody's words impacted the other person um, and they felt that, you know, this is a win-win outcome. I said what I needed to say. I've made this decision very clear. Um, I feel that you let this person know you love them, you want to be with them, but I feel like this person also had a choice and their thoughts really got in the way of how people would perceive you two being together or being out together. Um, Hmm, interesting. Let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with that three of cups that you have. And I get that you have waited long enough and that even though you have all this love around you, there's something that you feel is either missing or that you had a good relationship with this person at the time that you were talking to them and um, other relationships just haven't felt the same, which makes sense clarify that three of cups yes okay so that three of cups is clarified by the hangman the knight of cups and the eight of cups the bottom of the deck is going to be the seven of cups wanting to reconcile with them but in limbo about it that even though you feel this love with this person you know you walked away and either you had other options or they did or it's just a choice that you made um, because there was even though there was love there was a lack of something love wasn't just everything at the time there's also the fact that you're in limbo you feel this person owes you an apology maybe they also um, were the one that walked away in a sense that they left before i left so that's why i was out at the end um and you felt like either they went and explored other options or you just wanted to see what else was available for you let's go ahead and clarify that three of wands waiting for this person to come back and i do see that is definitely a heavy weight on you because I do see that you're either posting things online, you're trying to focus on, you know, everything being successful, keeping your yourself busy, um, but you're carrying this weight of wanting this attention from this person that feels like your soulmate. We both want the same thing. I don't know why they're so stubborn and they won't tell me how they feel, but yeah, waiting on this person is creating this huge burden for you. And even though things are going well, some of you are in another relationship as well. Um, there is something that feels difficult. It's hard for you to let go of, of the attention you were getting from this person, how things felt very natural whenever you were with them. Um, the death card is at the bottom of the deck I do see you saying you know I need to let this go I need to move on I'm happy I'm in another relationship or I have people around me who really care to be in my life but this one it's I get it you wanted this person to change you wanted this person to show you um, that you meant more to them or that this relationship was more to them uh, let's go ahead and clarify that nine of cups because I do see as you're closing out this chapter and ending the waiting game um, this is where, you know, you are okay. Yeah. You're getting attention from other people. Things feel good. Now you're cautious about, you know, the attention that you get from others and taking a risk in a different direction, but you're also, you know, looking online or just kind of exploring those options. We have the page of swords. We have the six of pentacles and the page of wands. Um, I even see you wanting to build up the courage to reach out to this person because you're tired of waiting for them to reach out to you. But as you're noticing that things are going well for you it's just like you're learning that what you give is what you get out of a situation and it's time to take a new direction and stay focused on you and the love that's ahead of you and that if this person really wants to be in your life they will speak up and say so um it's difficult to do when you have a a very strong connection with someone when you feel a certain way about someone I understand so let's go ahead and clarify that nine of swords for how they feel about you
So they are worried that there's too much pain that happened in the past between the two of you, the nine of wands, 10 of cups, and also the three of cups, nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. There's also the fact that this person worries about what their family would think if you two reconciled. Um, there is a lot of pain there. They feel very hurt. Um, or that they hurt you when you wanted a relationship, when things were going well. They put too much anxiety, too much stress on the situation that they worried they would lose it all. Um, this is a reason that they ran or things, you know, ran its course with this person. But yes, do they want to reconcile with you? Yes. And they also worry that you want to reconcile with them because they feel that energy. It's really causing them to be very anxious. Um, but they want it. So, you know, what do you do? Let's clarify that two of cups. See their thoughts, even though this two of cups being a soulmate connection, being happy together, there's love there. Um, if you're in a relationship, this is something that they tell themselves you're with somebody else. They need to let the past go. It's too triggering. It's time for them to learn and take a new path with this page of pentacles and stay that course. But they do recognize the connection between the two of you is something that you both want. You're both pouring into the cup the same. This is both something something you both feel. And they also tell themselves, you know, Pisces is the one that I want to be with. They're a lot of fun, but going backwards to the past, that is something that they're not going to do. Um, either they're nervous to reach out to you or they're just feeling it would be too triggering uh, for you and them. That tells me maybe there's uh, that unhealed pain and, you know, guarding their heart from a relationship and, and reconciling, even though it's really what they they want to do because they're manifesting you and they're wanting you to come back to them. They think about you. So if they didn't care, why do they continue to think about you? So let's go ahead and clarify the chariot. Moving on becomes very difficult for this person. Okay. So they are making themselves, they're making the choice here to move on and there is pain there. They feel this, I'm going to say anguish because that's the word that came to mind, but they feel this pain. It's almost like a suffering that they want to talk to you, that they want to fix things with you, that they could have everything with you, but they're not going to do so. Um, there's too much heartbreak in the situation to, to step outside of their comfort zone and go back to talking to you. Um, they also feel like there's too much damage that maybe they did as well, but in the relationship altogether, moving on feels very hard from this person. They are trying to explore other um, things in their life, very focused on the relationships they have around them, and also trying to create a beautiful garden of um, abundance, whether that is, you know, making a nice home, making more money, but they are really focused on their money here. So let's go ahead and get the outcome between the two of you. It's, it's difficult because I do see moving on here. So the six of swords, the king of pentacles, and then the death card moving forward, focused on financial stability, wealth, and overall feeling good. Um, but this ending here with this death card right at the end is telling me that there's a desire for a rebirth, but that 10 of swords at the bottom of the deck is also saying nothing would come of it at this point, um, because this is done and over and, it's, it's difficult. So I am seeing as you and this person try to progress forward and moving on in your lives, there's also still the desire to want each other back, but it's also because of some unhealed pain. Maybe the way things went down when you two separated, um, you know, it's like we didn't fix things fully here. And so it's like a reflection of forgiveness and 
I see you wanting to reconcile with them. They want the same thing, but nobody's doing anything at this time. You are moving forward. Money looks great and that is changing for you and that is looking really good. Um, but when it comes to this relationship with this person, they're just at a standstill. They're trying to move on as well. So let's go ahead and get uh, some Oracle messages for you, Pisces. Every time I try and shuffle these huge Oracle cards, because I have tiny hands, like, I mean... <laughs> Tiny hands, I can barely hold on to this. So bear with me. We'll just go slow. Did one turn over? No. I do like that you are more giving towards, you know, learning about people and there's people wanting to offer their time to you and exploring that aspect and things are really good for you. And I love that. Um, I just, I do understand how difficult it can be whenever you want to fix things with someone. So maybe they'll come around one day and if they don't just know that it's okay to move forward, you know, progress is wonderful and you want to grow from your experiences and, um, you know, learn from them as well, whether it's good or bad, you know, but be willing to express love, express love to receive love. So opening your heart, moving forward to people, I do see you're cautious when it comes to giving and just kind of like, oh, well, let's see what's out there. But there's love all around you that people are wanting to give to you. It feels really good. But I know that because of your experience that you had with this person, it makes it a little difficult. There's a, I need to keep that sword up and learn more about people to trust them. I don't know how to do that and have patience. Love is patient and kind always. So whoever you're dealing with moving forward, um, love is patient and kind always. So if someone is not patient with the love that they want to give to you and they're rushing, um, pay attention to that and trust your intuition on if it's a good fit for you. Because if you feel that someone's pushing their love in your direction, but you're not really asking for it and it's just like love bombing you, I would be cautious because there must be something. Now, some people just love love, but there's something that this person is doing that <clears throat> there's some kind of lack of in their life that they're replacing it with love and they have to be dependent on their own and love themselves fully and so they can give love and some people just really love love and maybe they've never been hurt before gone through a lot of things but you know anyone that wants to be with you Pisces needs to understand patience with you um, physical touch a tender touch can mean so much all right this is what i have for you if it resonates go ahead and hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye